Hey guys, hi Mario. You know the saying, monkey see, monkey do. But how about orangutan see, orangutan do? If that holds true, this little guy should learn how to get a tasty treat just by watching mom. One of the questions that we were looking at as individuals is how do they learn from one another and how does this relate to group behaviors that we see in the wild? With support from the National Science Foundation, primatologist Marietta Dindo is studying these primates at Zoo Atlanta to better understand how our distant ape cousins watch and learn. What's interesting and unique about orangutans compared to humans or even other great apes is the fact that they're what we call solitary but social, which means that individuals, aside from a mother-offspring interaction, will only have limited um, times during the week or even months where they spend in affiliation with other orangutans. Close it. Orangutans in the wild are difficult to observe, so Dindo designed an experiment with captive animals. She demonstrates it for us using this orangutan named Madhu, who has figured out she needs to slide, not lift the door to get a treat. Little Dumadi is paying close attention, but in this case, Big Mama, Madhu, is so dominant, she mostly keeps him at bay. In the actual study, Dindo found equally matched orangutans are superb copycats, but only when it serves their purposes. It's known from other research studies that apes won't actually imitate unnecessary actions if they know it's unnecessary. So does this orangutan behavior tell us anything about how much humans have evolved? Dindo says studies show that humans aren't nearly as selective. We'll ape each other just to be part of the group. With humans, what we see is that people want to do as others do, and this starts around three years of age, when we start identifying ourselves with others. So when it comes to following the crowd, who's more on the ball, the humans or the apes? Dindo says it really depends on your point of view. Is it intelligent to be as others when it's so integral to our society, with cultural norms, and doing as others do? Well then yes, that's very smart to do. But if you're not going to want to waste your resources and you want to get to your food fast, that too is very smart. So it really depends on where you're coming from. In this case, just making the effort to follow the leader finally paid off for Dumadi. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.